Well, hello, hello, and welcome to my situatory. Happy Friday, if it's a Friday with you, and I hope you've had a fantastic week. And my name is Jane Lindsay, and I am from Snapdragon Life. You might notice that I have changed the camera angle here, and that is because we are now getting sunshine onto the back deck, which is just fantastic. And look how much these um, hyacinths are enjoying it today. So this week I have been, oh dear, I've got a really, really grumpy cat on my knee. Um, I've chucked her off the seat. <laughs> yes, this is Budgie. Um, this week I have been out and about quite a bit. So I thought that I would just, I've got a couple of films. I thought that I would talk in between them and then show them um, like a proper TV presenter. So the first one, is I went down earlier this week to um, Barnard Castle and on the way I was going down to a writing workshop but on the way I had time to pop into Peebles where I went to an exhibition which is called Making 50 and which is the work of the textile study group. The textile study group is kind of a, a group of tutors and makers and this is their 50th anniversary year that these so the group was set up in 1973 and the exhibition which is in People's Museum is work by all of the current members and I thought that you know it would be a good place to stop for lunch and have a look round and I thought I'd be there about 15 minutes you know um, but two hours later and very hungry um, the museum was closing up around me because the work it's so intricate and it really pays um, kind of close, repays close inspection. It's just it was fantastic. Um, so I took my camera so that I could make a proper little film for the Studio Club blog because I, I think films, they just, where textiles are concerned particularly, they give a much better idea than stuff films. So I've put some of the, the shots here and I will link to it. So it is Making 50 is the exhibition and it's at People's Museum until August the 5th and if you have a chance I would say really go and see it. Here's the film. Leave the light on low I need some shelter from this storm It's clouding and brewing up my sight Oh, will I ever see the light? Hey, the light was Lynn Botanic Gardens, which is over in Cove, which is sort of about 40 minutes drive to the west of here. It was bought last year by a family who are restoring it and trying to bring it back to being a registered botanical garden. Um, they're repairing the paths, they're trying to find out what plants are actually there, um, label them, restore them. It's a fantastic and I think quite daunting project, but they have brought so much energy to it. It has been featured on Gardener's World about three weeks ago and I believe there are another two sections have been filmed um, to bring it up to date. However, I also took my camera 
not on quite the same scale but this film um, shows you Lynn Garden really kind of at the early stages of restoration and I'm really excited to follow through that project and um, see how it develops over the years. Shapes the wheel, turn around and tail. The dreams that you lost start to count the cost. A thousand grains of sand slip right through my hands. I was moving slow, now I'm letting go. visited. <laughs> it's a bit of a cheat because it was my parents house but I did say that I would take um, some film when I was back there in the spring when the hyacinths are up because it's really a spring garden. So my parents are in East Lothian which is in the east coast of Scotland. They grow everything pretty much on sand. They are in their 80s now and they have no help at all in the garden. Um, originally when the house was built there were three or four gardeners um, who were, were responsible for keeping the garden all very neat and tidy um, but now it's my parents and at this time of year it is particularly beautiful so I thought that I would film it for you. Here's the film.
I hope you enjoyed that. So last week, as you might know, I relaunched the Studio Club, which is my online membership club. And I'm just so delighted that so many people joined at that point. And I thought that I should retake this opportunity to show you what I'm working on, which is a sample for the next workshop, so the April workshop. So I started off with, this is a bag that was dyed with a Tansy exhaust dye pot, so just dyeing things to take up some of the colour. I dyed and sold um, some of the sort of like much deeper yellow bags last year. Um, but to be honest, if I'm going to be embroidering on things, I quite like these paler, softer, more kind of mus mushy colours. Um, because I think that then it gives you a nice background to work on. So what we're doing in this next workshop is a clique mending. So using things cut out of fabrics, um, particularly flowers, to work as patches on top of um, things that need to be mended. But I'm doing the samples on this bag so that it's nice and easy for people to see. So you can see that I've cut out and stuck on my linen flowers here and then I'm beginning to go right around the edge with um, thread. This is a really nice kind of um, recycled cotton thread that I have dyed with um, plant stuff. So it's just a lovely soft subtle colour and then I'm going to embroider all of that but I need to work up the samples over the next week. I'll show you it next week as well. Um, so that will be the April workshop for the Studio Club. If you want to know about the Studio Club, you know where to find the details, they're just underneath this. And now, I thought I would just leave you with some pictures of flowers which are now blooming in the garden here, which is just wonderful because we've been a long time without many flowers and you can just begin to see everything starting. <laughs> 